Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, which I'm Yang Room. Today we are going to talk about equality of wages between skilled and unskilled laborers. So we are going to first define wage ratio and labor ratio. Wage ratio is just the wage of skilled workers divided by wage of unskilled workers. And that number is going to be greater than 1 because we know the market is going to reward you for your skill. Second, let's talk about labor ratio. So labor ratio is just the number of skilled workers divided by the number of unskilled workers. Later on, we're going to take a look at the demand. So this demand is not a typical demand for apples or oranges, but this is a relative demand. So we say that this is a demand for skilled laborers relative to demand for unskilled laborers. And this demand curve is going to shift to the right if in scenario one is that there is an increase in demand for skilled laborers. That's going to shift your demand curve to the right. Or if there is a decrease in the demand for unskilled laborers, that is also going to shift your relative demand to the right. Or if both of them happening at the same time, there is an increase in demand for skilled laborers and a decrease in demand for unskilled laborers. That is also going to shift your demand curve to the right. So I give you an analogy. Suppose there are two guys you're considering dating. Now, um, so Alex and Bob. Suppose Bob didn't do anything, but Alex is being very nice and sweet. Then that is going to cause you to prefer Alex to Bob. Or in another scenario where Alex didn't do anything and Bob is being very mean to you, then that is also going to cause you to prefer Alex to Bob. Or if both of these scenarios happening at the same time, meaning Alex is being very nice and Bob is being very mean, then you're going to prefer Alex a lot, a lot more than Bob. So you get an idea. If there's an increase in the demand for skilled labor, or a decrease in the demand for unskilled labor, or both of them happening at the same time, they are both going to cause your demand curve to shift from D0 to D1 because we're talking about relative demand here. And next, uh, our supply curve is just the labor ratio. So um, anything that increases the number of skilled laborers um, or reduces the number of unskilled laborers, that's going to cause your uh, labor ratio to increase. And anything that increases the number of unskilled workers and decreases the number of skilled workers, that is going to shift your supply curve to the left. So um, let's take a look at our demand and supply analysis. So suppose we start with uh, S0, that's our original labor ratio, and our original relative demand is D0. So we start with um, point A, that's our original equilibrium. So our original Wage ratio is 2.0, meaning that um, if you're a skilled labor, you make twice as much as unskilled labor. Although we know the real number is a lot bigger because a lot of Americans are living under poverty line, meaning they are um, making less than $25,000 uh, for an entire family per year. And skilled laborers, you can easily make eighty dollars or $100,000 per year. Um, so we know the number indeed is a lot worse than this, meaning a lot higher. So suppose we start with point A, and uh, um, in scenario one, suppose the government cuts education funding, which is exactly what's happening now. We know the current administration is cutting educational funding to fund uh, military. So in that case, we know that, um, well, uh, that's going to increase the number of unskilled laborers and decrease the number of skilled laborers. So that is going to shift our um, S0 to S2. So we're going to shift to the left from this black line to this uh, red line. So um, suppose there's nothing changed about the demand side, then our new equilibrium will be point B, and uh, our wage ratio is going to become higher, meaning um, the wage gap between skilled laborers and unskilled laborers is going to become bigger meaning in this society we're going to be even more unequal than before. So that's uh, scenario number one. And uh, scenario number two, suppose it's the opposite. Suppose the government uh, lowers the interest rate for student loan, then um, that is going to encourage a lot of students to go to college. So that is going to increase the number of um, skilled laborers and decrease the number of unskilled laborers because these people decide to go to college, they will become like upstairs. And that is going to cause our um, supply curve 
to shift from S0 to S1. So our new equilibrium will be point C, and you can see our wage ratio becomes lower, and that means the society will become more equal. And uh, scenario number three, uh, whether it's automation or international trade, they will result in similar things. Um, that is going to cause our demand curve to shift. So how is that? When there is automation, that means we are using machines to replace unskilled workers. So demand for unskilled workers is going to go down. And at the same time, um, we also need engineers to maintain, to design those machines. So demand for skilled laborers is going to go up. So both of these events are going to shift uh, our D0 to D1. Same as international trade. So we know that with international trade, we import like, toys or shoes, like those um, unskilled labor intensive goods from China. So that is going to cause our demand, domestic demand for unskilled workers to go down. And at the same time, because when we're exporting, we're exporting the goods that are uh, skill intensive, so such as aircraft, or pharmaceutical products, and all this requires skilled laborers to design them or to research on them. So um, this is also going to cause our demand for skilled workers to go up, our demand for unskilled workers to go down. So that is going to shift our D0 to D1, and as a result, our new equilibrium, it, where our equilibrium is going to move from A to D. So that is also going to increase our wage ratio. And uh, I hope this helps and make sure that you get your college degree so you are a skilled laborer and you get paid more. So I hope this helps. See you next time.